All right. Hey, Damon D'Amico here with the lovely, talented Melina Eckenrod uh, from D'Amico Dance here in Houston, and we want you to be a better dancer faster. And we're so glad that our YouTube channel is back up and running and that you guys are out there. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please share any of our videos with your friends and let them see this great content, okay? One of my favorite all-time male dancers is Mr. Jason Wayne uh, and his lovely wife, Yvonne. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, he's dancing with the talented Jen DeLuca at Boogie by the Bay 2016. He does some really cool stuff, and I thought about doing a move of his already because it's a really cool move that I taught a while back, and then I saw this clip and he does it with a new exit, which is really, really cool. Um, so this is what they ended up doing. Uh, he started off with a left to left, and I believe this cuts in about 57 seconds into their performance there, the first part of the slow song that they do. He starts left to left and does a leapfrog with her. He does a one, two, three, and four. He backs up five and six. I'll show you first. Seven and eight. And he picks this up and one. Jen goes two and does a kick back, three back, four turns around, five keeps it connected. Jason's like on the video, you see, he's like, that was some cool stuff. And she stopped and there was a snare beat here um, on the six. So she stopped instead of like really pressing forward like she wanted to come out of this. Um, and he lets it work down for seven preps or eight, gives her a one and two, three and four free spin at the end. That's what they ended up doing. So I'm gonna help you break that down a little bit. So starting off with the left to left and giving her this spin, this goes one, two with a nice prep right here. I always like to talk to you ladies about when we're holding on with a left to left connection or even a right to left connection for you ladies. Uh, you want to make sure you're not contra body when you're standing here. Since your left foot is still back in natural anchor position, your left hip and your left shoulder should also still be back. But oftentimes when the guys are holding your left hand, your legs are contra body, meaning that you've got your left shoulder twisted towards your right leg. The problem with that is when you walk out, it's all funky and the guy can't get a prep on you. He can't get a bite on you to give you a good lead right here. So I need you ladies to think about staying close enough, having your proximity alert go off in a way you've got enough room to stay back in your left side, okay? So as he gets her started here, he gives her a one and a prep on two. He picks up this hand for three and four and catches her back to go to close three and four, but he knows that he wants to move past her. So instead of staying on this side of the slot where he normally would barely moving back in front, he steps slightly forward in between her feet, preparing to move around the outside of her. He does a drape over her head here, but it won't happen on four. So you guys that are forcing this down on four, it's too early. It's actually gonna happen between four and five as he gets close enough and starts to pass her. However, if you don't touch the lady's back right here, she doesn't know you want to go to close, more than likely she's going to be too far away. So as she rolls into that three and four, I've already got my right hand waiting, so she knows I'm going to go to close. So this goes one, two, three, and four. The other thing is, when you guys actually catch the lady's back and close on four, it makes you take a step with the left foot that's close enough to her, because typically you guys are not getting close enough to the lady when you go to do a leap problem. From here, you're gonna drape this over the lady's head as you move past her. He's always doing some kind of cool, super cool moonwalk type thing. I think he kind of goes the backwards kind of quick right here. It'd be easier if you guys move forward around him on the five and get to backwards on the six. I don't want the lady to face me here because I don't wanna to have to walk her to prep her for the next spin. So as she did a rotating anchor on her five and six, you'll notice that she finished with her left foot closer to me instead of being in the standard anchor position with the left foot back. And I'm using the heel of my right hand to press her forward and toward the camera here a little bit so, so she stays prepped. As this hand went over the lady's head and dropped down, I want to make sure I'm not pulling her with me with the left hand. I'm leaving that with her so that she stays prepped and open so that I can spin her now for the seven and eight. I'm going to go backwards and open side for seven and eight so that I'm even with her because normally when I do a fold, I'd be back here somewhere, but now I can't reach this hand. So I would back up and straddle for seven and eight here. From here, I'm gonna pick up my right hand and take it up. She's already prepped, I'm gonna turn, she's gonna do an and one. I take this over my head for and one. I like just for comfort's sake and making the lady stop, taking my left hand to her side over here on this side of her. I'm not sure whether he did the video or not, but it was helpful to get the lady to stop here. However, I couldn't get her to stop with just this hand. Then Jen decides to take over and do something cool. So she does a kick on two. She points back on three, steps back on four, keeps the hand connected and doesn't open break five and, and instead of stepping forward on the six, which she certainly could have, and spin off of that, she does more of like a replace and hits the snare beat right there on six. Jason then takes the hand off of his neck with his left hand, takes his right hand to the lady's back, gives her a little prep on seven, 
A gives it a free spin for one and two, three and four. I'm going to show it one time from the other side. So it goes one, two, three, catch her back, four, five, leave her prep, six, back up, seven, straddle, eight, up, one, and one, two. She does a three, steps four, five, and six. He gives her a seven, eight, and a free spin, one and two, three, and four. Thank you so much, Brian. That's really fast.